Tour, we've established a multiplication center for the orange fleshed sweet potato. Uh, the multiplication center is established on one acre of land. And as you can see, these vines are 13 days old. They were planted 13 days ago. And the main focus for this is to multiply vines within Kotido district, for which we can distribute to the entire community so that they can produce their own sweet potatoes and enhance the food security in their households. So this multiplication site will be able to distribute to the entire district because first of all the vines take short time to mal to mercure. Within two months we shall be able to cut the cuttings and also distribute to the entire district. And out there will ask why the orange flesh sweet potato in such a an environment. Number one, in Kotido district we have a high prevalency of malnutrition. For those of us who are familiar with gum, our gum was at 14.5 which is really high. So we are looking at a food security crop that is dense in nutrients and sweet potato is the answer to all our questions. Now, first of all the orange flesh sweet potato is very rich in vitamin A which is very important in the immunity of the body, building the immunity to fight diseases against, uh, fight diseases and also fight malnutrition in the long term. And also sweet potatoes, like other communities in Busoga, is a food security crop. We are looking at promoting this crop such that in the long run, Karamoja, we have a food security crop so that we move from, apart from harvesting into the saucepan, we have a crop that can sustain us through the dry season because these sweet potatoes can be preserved in many forms. You can make very many products from these sweet potatoes. So in the long run, we are looking at bridging the food security and malnutrition. Once we have every household producing at least sweet potatoes on half an acre of land, we are sure that their food stores will not run dry. Potato for production is drought resistant. We've proven it that it can thrive through the dry season. But besides that, as a school being our multiplication site, we are supporting the school with an irrigation system to see that there is constant water supply all through the year so that we can produce vines and supply continuously. Anytime anyone wants to plant sweet potatoes, they don't have to run around. They come to the multiplication site and pick vines. So in that respect, we are instilling an irrigation system that will be used to supply water to this multiplication site. And in the long run, by the way, not only looking at this multiplication center, we are looking at expanding. If you can see the other side, we still have lots of land for which we look at expanding because we know that our demand is going to be high. So we have to produce the vines all year through.